G'day guys, welcome back to another video. Today just out here on the local dam and just having a fish for some ready. So beautiful arvo, weather's starting to warm up and the fishing's starting to turn on. So we're back into it and uh, hopefully we can catch a few ready. So let's go and get into it. Just hooked up on the first one here. Little fish. There we go. Only a little bloke on the uh, little key tech there. Didn't bust it up too much. Now that's in like a um, olive green and chartreuse type of colour, as you can see there. But there he goes. As you can see, nice and gr um, nice and green the fish, and that's because they're living in the weed in this dam. So. It's chock a block full of weed this dam and um, these blokes love to sit into it, sit in it and ambush their prey and that's what he did with that little key tech, just come out of them uh, weeds and absolutely smashed it, so get this bloke back in the drink. Here he goes. He's just sitting there. Beautiful. Let's get some more. So what I'm doing here really is I'm just um, just hopping these plastics off the bottom. So as you saw before, I'm just using a little key tech three inch, and um, it's just a paddle tail. So I'll let him hit the bottom. Once it's on the bottom, I'll rip up, and um, most of these fish or the two fish I've got so far, I've hit it on the bottom. Uh, all I'm using is a little dial back label, two to four kilo. Uh, it's a seven foot. Um, with a diver surtape. Uh, use this reel and rod on pretty much all my gear, yellers, bass, all the lighter gear. So great rod, seven foot's real handy from the bank. You can cast out far with them soft plastics. And um, yeah, it's a beautiful setup. So let's see if we can uh, hook onto a few more and maybe get them in. That one fell off right at the bank. Getting little taps. Got it. Running towards me. This could be a bit bigger. No, I don't think it is. Uh, pretty small, I think. Fairly small one. Beautiful colours on them in the year though. Living in that weed, got that nice little green tinge and beautiful red fins. Awesome fish. Off he goes. Oh, that was a good hit. He should come back. Got him. Oh, that's a better one, I reckon. Unless he's stuck in the weed. Nah, the same size. Pretty much the same size as the last. And it's real simple, just getting out to these dams. I've probably only been here for you know, 45 minutes, something like that. And um, yeah, just catching these little blokes, and it's great fun. Um, if you're a young kid and 
Um, you got a day spare, definitely find some dams on Google Earth and try and catch these things because they're good fun and um, yeah, it's awesome being outside and catching them. Look at these red fins. So mostly you'll you'll find these fish. If you don't know too much about redfin, you'll find these fish mostly on the bottom, just feeding, and that's why you hop your lures off the bottom. They will come up to um, to eat on the drop and stuff like that, but just hop them off the bottom. Um, little plastics and um, vibes, and uh, anything else you can find. What else works is um, spinners sometimes work, but I find hopping things off the bottom, especially in weedy areas like this, um, is definitely worth it. Um, you definitely catch. Catch a lot of fish from it. Beautiful fish. Back in the drink. So if you're new to fishing or you just haven't fished plastics before, pretty much it's just a jig head with a single hook, as you can see there, and you just put a little paddle tail or some type of soft plastics. They've got other ones like grubs, split trail, um, split tails and minnows, but I prefer these little paddle tails. These are Keytech paddle tails, three inch. Um, and I absolutely love them. So what's going to happen when you do it, just line it up, make sure, see I can see that hook's coming out the back. And all you do is just thread it through the nose. Some people like to cut off the nose, which makes it sit on the um, jig head a bit easier. But I don't have any scissors with me, because I've just rushed out after school. And um, just thread it on, coming out the back. And there you have it. Perfectly rigged jig head, ready to go. Ready to go and catch some redfin. So, perfect. Let's see if we can get a few more. So, for you that haven't targeted redfin that much or haven't done much, you know, redfin fishing or don't know too much about the fish, when you're fishing for them, another good thing is redfin school up, whether it be in a dam or in a lake, bigger lake, most of the time they'll school up. So, they're a perch and um, most perch school up. Sometimes they won't, uh, most of the year they are schooled up. So it pays off when you catch one to stay in the same area, keep casting around, and hopefully you'll get another one very soon. There you go. Slow roll, and that time wasn't knocking him off the bottom, it was slow rolling across the weed. Talking about weed, he's got me in it. Good thing about these plastics as well, they don't have trebles hanging out of the fish's mouth, so they don't get caught in the weed. Oh, he's only just talked. It's probably my best for the day as well. I'll slide him up on the bank. There we go. Not a huge one, but as you can see, pinned right in the corner of the mouth. And uh, yeah, again, got that green tinge to him because of the weed. And he hit me right on the edge of the weed. Beautiful fish. Let's get him back. He's back up on the bank. Get in the water, mate. There he goes. Back to now, most of my hits have been um, right on the edge of this weed. And the reason for that is the redfin like to tuck in there and they like to ambush whatever's going past. Also, the small little juvenile redfin. As I can see in the water, you guys probably can't see as well, but there's little small crustaceans, just little small insects and stuff, little small bait fish swimming around right up in this weed. And that's what the little, you know, two to three inch little juvenile redfin that um, would have spawned in here a couple of weeks ago, they'll be feeding on. And then obviously the bigger redfin um, will be feeding on them smaller juvenile redfin or bait fish that are targeting. So. When you're fishing, always take notice of where you're catching fish, how you're catching fish, and hopefully that helps you catch more fish during your day. Oh, just, yeah, there we go. That's a better one. Oh, I dropped him. No. Another hit. Oh, they're all over it. There we go. Third time lucky. He's not as big as the first one. But as I said earlier, there's a little school out there. And they're liking the key tech. Oh, yeah. He's real yellow. Big faces. Big face full of salad. 
Let me key take on under there. Look at the yellow tinge on here. It's beautiful. Look at these cheeks. Beautiful fish. There we go, two and two cars. Doing the same thing. <laughs> Absolutely swallowed it, so hopefully he swing it away, alright. Oh, he got him in the eye, so it took me a little bit to get that hook out, but he's just sitting there. Should be fine. So that's it. That's all she wrote. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Just a little quick arvo session.